Hey, curlies. <laughs> it's your girl, Soul Child 67, aka Betty. You get to hear the morning voice. That's right. I wanted to shoot some morning content for you to um, show you this wash and go. Um, today is Sunday, and you will be seeing this on Monday. So, <laughs> no Barbie video, just a hair video. But, um, I started sleeping with a scarf on my head because I get so many questions about, do I wrap my hair up? I was using the Grace Elay um, slap caps. That is what I was using. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. That is what I was using, but um, one of them is stretched all the way out and then I have a new one and I can't find. So I guess I need to put them on my Black Friday list as well. <laughs> Because I do like the slap caps because I can actually get away with wearing them out if I have to run to the store or something after I've set my hair and I don't want my hair to be fluffed yet. So yeah, I used a regular silk scarf um, that my sissy poo gave me. Shout out to Kay. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, that is what I used uh, and slept with it on my hair. And this, what you're seeing is how my hair looks when I took it, take it off. It's flat. Okay, now, this is what I'm going to tell you that I use to style my hair. If you saw the previous videos, not previous videos, previous pictures on my um, IG, Girl 67 So if you saw that, then you know that Kinky Curly, <clears throat> well, I don't know if I said that. I said I would let you know what I used, I think. Kinky Curly was one. Um, this is probably like the seventh, eighth jar of this. I go through this stuff. Um, sometimes I will use Uncle Funky's Daughter uh, Curly Magic as my base gel because I don't use a leave-in. I do a rinse out um, leave-in when I'm in the shower and shampoo my hair. I will let you know when I use a leave-in. If I use a leave-in, it would probably be um, the um, Trey Lux, what is it, Untie the Knot or something like that. I like that, the Trey Lux leave-in, I would use that, or either the Kinky Curly, not today, leave-in. But I've been using this as a base gel slash leave-in. Um, sometimes, like I said, I use the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic, but here lately I've been using this. Not to worry, I have more. I'm going to be stacking up every time Sally's has a sale. This is why I tell you, Curly's, get on these email lists so you know when these sales are, because sometimes I don't always make a video about them. Sometimes I will post that there's a sale going on on my um, IG, Funny Girl 67 So this one I haven't even opened yet, but this was what I used as my base gel. And I'm gonna show you what my styler was, or is right now. Um, the Camille Rose Spiked Honey Mousse 4-in-1 Styler. I cannot wait to try a twist out with this, especially a chunky twist out. So this is the styler that I used. Um, I got this from CVS. I'm told Target has it, but for me, it was more beneficial and cheaper, cheaper to get it at CVS because I had earned some rewards and they had buy one, get one 50% off. So I was able to get two of these for 11 bucks. <laughs> so, <huh. laughs> I don't know. But anyway, get used to this voice and now let's fluff the hair. No, not going to use water, going to use my hands. Um, I still, it's funny because I, yeah, I just got out of the shower. These curls here, let me see if I can stand up. Put the towel down. These curls here are so nice. All the curls are nice, but I think because the hair is still black and that's what I think is, just amazing. So I'm going to take my glasses off and fluff for you on camera so that you can see what I do. There's nothing magical that I do at all. So let's just go right into it. It's been matted down under that um, silk scarf. A part of me wants to go ahead and cut this off because I don't like this little I don't like that. I wish that it was all even. Like, I wish it was like even, like right here. That's what I like. I wish that it was even. And I am thinking about doing that because I hate this little hook piece. I wish that the hair was just even, like even, even. Yeah. 
not really, so, not so much a bob and not really a tapered look what I have now, but I just don't like when I look to the side and see the side profile. But when I'm in the, looking in the front, I love the way the hair looks in the front. Because I don't always wear a bang, and that's what I had gotten before, was like bangs, and I just kind of fluff. Yes, I am not using oils and butters. My hair is very moisturized. Since I signed up for um, See Some Curls, my hair is very moisturized, and I'm finding, yes, it is about the ingredients, but it is also um, technique. Yes, technique. I'm learning that. So I would say if you can afford to sign up for See Some Curls, and no, this is not sponsored. Let's just get that out of the way. It's not, not sponsored at all. Um, I'm learning so much, and I like the fact that I'm taking these courses and it unlocks something new, and every day there are other curlies out there sharing their techniques as well. So that's what I like about it. Um, it's an ongoing education and I'm learning so much about my hair and now I'm so in love with my hair. Now, not so much the shape of it because my sides are not growing as fast to catch up with that. So I may leave it. I don't know. We don't know. You know, it's just a phase. I have to talk to my stylist. Um, I go every three months and I'm due to go back, I think, it's September now, I'm due to go back in October, so I need to go ahead and make that appointment before you guys book her up, <laughs> Octavia B, you already know, Octavia B Curls, yes, 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 so I need to go ahead and book that appointment so I won't get, because uh, I don't want it to roll into November, because you know, November you're getting close to December, the holidays, everybody's trying to get their curls done and all that. Um, so I do know that I don't, I don't know if I'm going to go into the fall with my wash and goes or I'm going to go into the fall with twisting my hair and doing twist outs. I don't know yet. I have to experiment more. We know I've done twist outs before I joined See Some Curls and they were okay twist outs. But now that I've joined See Some Curls and technique and everything, yeah, I need to go ahead and bust out some twist outs for you guys, for you curlies. <laughs> so yeah. Um, look at that. And this wash and go is from Friday, I think. So yeah, I just kind of fluff. I was doing more talking than fluffing, wasn't I? <laughs> A little frizziness right there, but it's okay because frizziness is okay. I don't mind shrinkage. Shrinkage is healthy hair. I don't know why people go crazy over shrinkage. Uh, yeah, I'm not going crazy over shrinkage. I'm sorry. I'm just not. <laughs> so now I can put my glasses on. And now you see that I have fluffed my hair and I'm ready, ready to seize the day. Even though the day has seized me because it's after 10. <laughs> but anyway, yes, my base gel was the uh, Kinky Curly. This one is almost empty. I'm going to scrape this out. I never did put it in a container where I could pump it out because I was fine with it. Um, I may do that eventually. I don't know. But right for right now, I just kind of scoop my finger in there and get it. So yeah, I may do that later on. I don't know. But this is what was used. Kinky Curly. And the styler, of course, was the Camille Rose Spiked Honey Mousse 4-in-1 Styler. I love this stuff. Love it, love it. Um, a few curlies are refreshing their hair with it, I guess. I don't refresh the hair with this. I just make sure my hands are clean before I stick them in there. And this fluff. And that is what you see. And I'll come up close. So yeah, I'm happy that I did join. I have some stuff in my brows. So that's to be okay. A little flaking going on. But um, it, that doesn't bother me either because it's not like crazy flaking. And yeah, I don't see. Yeah. So I'm good. <laughs> All right. If you like this giddy, this video, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video, of course. And I will don't really have a Barbie update for you. So... For right now, we're just going to keep marching on with hair content and whatever else crazy is going on in my world, okay? So yeah, drop it below if you've ever gone through any type of home renovation type thing and 
how did you handle the stress of it all? And yeah, just help me out, okay? <laughs> and let me know, have you tried the uh, Camille Rose Spike Honey Mousse or any of those products, by the way? Um, you know, it's funny because I kind of like this better than I do the do. I don't know if I should be saying that. I need to experiment with this some more though. But I like them both. But right now, I'm really feeling this. Oh, and as far as smell, you're going to smell like a pumpkin the first hour. Okay? Just want to let you know. You know, It's like a strong scent. And to me, it smells like pumpkin. Like pumpkin and honey. But it's not bad because it reminds me of Thanksgiving at your grandmother's. <laughs> or your mom's house. <laughs> All right, curlies. I'm out. Drop it in the comments section if you've tried any of this. And I still have two things to give away i will show you those things on wednesday so make sure you are watching wednesday's video and that you're in the comment section so that i can get that shipped out i'm tired of seeing it in my closet it's left over from the august month of giveaways yeah <laughs> all right and i think the next giveaways will probably be um around the holidays that will be the next giveaway and I don't think, I don't know if they're going to be products or gift cards because I want you guys to choose which hair products you may like. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be kicking off at the beginning of December. Yes. All right. Bye. Oops. <laughs>